Hello besties, Essie here for Sunday Sprinkles and today we have some piggy toys that I want to show you guys. So first up, you have already seen it. Um, this is our piggy plush toy. He is wearing a dark gray dress. He has dark eyes with two little white dots. Um, gray nostrils, ears, and here is how the back looks like. It's pretty simple. If you are like me and you like kind of like simple, minimalistic kind of style, I feel like this would fit perfectly in your space. So yeah, I really like that one. It's super soft too. Quality is actually pretty good. Now let's move on to the four figures that we have at the back right here. This is series number three and uh, there are are five characters that we can get however um, I cannot find torture anywhere I can't find it in stores I went to three different Walmarts looked online I can find it on Amazon nothing on eBay so I don't know who sells them <laughs> so he is missing from this collection but not because I didn't try. I really tried to look for him so I can show it to you guys, but no luck. But I do have the other four. So here is the first one. We have Friendly Robbie. Awesome. Each figure comes with an exclusive DLC code. Ooh, I can't see. So you're supposed to use the code to unlock some special characters in the game. And then there is an accessory, which is this saw, circular saw. How do you call this weapon? And then here is Robbie himself. These figures are posable. They have um, articulating legs, so you can bend him on the hips. Arms can also move. Ooh, he is pretty muscular, isn't he? Um, and uh, the head can move 360 as well. The feet, I think, can also bend. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So you can pose him like he's walking or running. It's a little plasticky, rubbery material, not like a solid, breakable material. I actually prefer this one. I feel like if you're gonna play with it, this is gonna be great. So I think it's meant to be played and not just for display. Let's see, can he hold his weapon? Yeah, oh yes, he can. Awesome, so that is Friendly Robbie. Next, let's move on to Rash. We have our exclusive DLC code. Haven't played in a while, but yeah, if you do play, you can scratch this off and get the code. Then here is Rash. So Rash comes with two different separate accessories, but I think the other one is part of the body, which is his tail. So let's go ahead and connect that on him. There we go. Doesn't click and I feel like it's kind of loose and it would easily come off. It will stay in its place. It's just that if you move it around, it will come undone. Now here is his face. He has a black hat, yellow eye on the right, black on the left. He's wearing a black and white top and blue pants. Here is how we move his arms and the head. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh-oh, see? Oh, let's not forget his crowbar that he can hold here or the other hand. Now let's move on to Kali. I am today years old that I just realized. His name comes from what he is. He is a koala, so his name is Kali. Duh. Okay, so Kali came with two weapons. What these weapons are called, I have no idea. All I know is it has a handle and it has spikes all around here. Then here is Kali himself. So Kali has two different colors of eyes. So we have green and then orange with a black dot right there. He is wearing his hard hat that's color yellow. One ear is white and the other one is black. This side is pretty clean and then this side is a bit more red. <laughs> his suit is orange and he has black suspenders on. His hands are gray and they're meant 
to hold his weapons. He can hold it on the very end or in the middle, just like this. That's quality for you! And I had reserved this for last because I am most intrigued by this figure. This is Frostiggy, which is supposed to be glow-in-the-dark figure. Yeah, so it is a glow-in-the-dark figure. I actually just opened a box of glow-in-the-dark blind bags, piggy blind bags. I'll have the link in the description box and at the end of this video as well. But those glow-in-the-dark figures didn't really glow very much <laughs> in the dark. I'm hoping that this is different. Hopefully this one has a better glow-in-the-dark feature. <laughs> he is green, pretty much green for the most part except for the top of his head. Um, it's white, which is supposed to be snow. One of the eyes is blue, and we have spikes on the top of his head. White ear on here. The inside looks pretty hollow. So the figure itself is lighter than the rest of the figures. The head can move 360 though, as well as the arms. It doesn't really have a um, waist area so nothing to move there but he does come with a spiky bat or a bat with some icicles on it Ooh, wait there we go let's turn off the light and see if it actually glows in the dark okay it doesn't show here on camera but in real life oh there you go yeah it actually does glow in the dark i love it yeah, definitely glows way, way better than their glow-in-the-dark blind bags. And another thing that I just noticed is he kind of glides really smoothly on the surface. It's because he actually has a small little wheel right here at the back and two on the front. So three total small wheels on the bottom of the figure. So you know how he glides on the game? You can kind of do that with this figure. I got that as the last figure because I thought it was going to be the best and my favorite. And I'm not wrong. <laughs> that is definitely my favorite figure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty short, but um, I wanted to give it its own video. So yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Essie here for Sunday Sprinkles. Bye!